Tonight, a Merrick man says he lost more than $9,000 after one of his checks was stolen and washed by criminals. And he says it all happened from a post office mailbox. News 12's Kevin Vesey is live outside that post office in Merrick with the very latest. Good evening, Kevin. Good evening, Joe. Yeah, this appears to be an old fashioned scam that is making a bit of a comeback. So that man tells me he came to this post office Sunday night. He placed an envelope containing a check right here in this mailbox where he thought it would be safe. But clearly it wasn't because by Monday, a thief had taken that check and cashed it for themselves. It's a terrible thing to do on to the people. Jim Kaiser couldn't believe his eyes after someone took this check he wrote washed off the ink and cashed it for $9,001.20. I have no idea how that happened, but it's pretty shocking that my count is still down $9,000 right now. The check had originally been made out to the Postal Service for a $258 P.O. Box fee. It was dropped in the Merrick Post Office's outdoor mailbox, but a thief somehow got it, changed the name to Pierre Johnson, and cashed it Monday evening. Criminals will find innovative ways to take advantage of people. At a news conference earlier this month, Suffolk Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison spoke about a check that was stolen from a mailbox and cashed for $52,000. Acetone, a chemical and nail polish remover, is used to erase the ink. So if you're writing checks, you should use a more secure gel pen like this instead of a common ballpoint pen. Do not mail checks via the mailbox in front of your home. If possible, switch to online banking from a secure computer. Jim, meanwhile, says he will think twice before writing another check, and he's hoping police can catch the person who stole his hard-earned money. I didn't believe it was true, but Chase confirmed it, and uh, I just hope it comes back because it's not easy to make $9,000. And of course, hoping he gets that money back as well. So Jim says he reported this incident to the post office right away. They have their own police force, which is investigating, though. Joe, up until now, Jim tells me he still has not received an update. Yeah, Kevin, any word on how common this scam is becoming? I know you said it's making a comeback. Yeah, so we posed that question to Nassau police tonight, but they didn't have an answer for us immediately. Suffolk police, however, earlier this month, they said they've received around 40 reports of this, uh, this type of crime in the Huntington area alone between August 1st and November 1st.